Hey, everybody. Wow. Okay. Where do I start? Well, I started out with doing the inside of this um, NeoCube with a ASRock X570. And we have it right here. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. But the thing with this is this rear I.O. is so big. I had to tape it. The, the, um, the, U, the, well, the 90 degree um, fittings were bumping up against it. And also, the size of this was absolutely interfering. As well as this monstrosity of a little fan. And it's got four layers of PCB, copper layer in there. There's no support on the, um, the memory like we have here. And this really isn't even that good. It's kind of got a lot of hollowed out spots on it and stuff. So they could, I think, lighten it up. The back is pretty typical. Anyways, I tried putting it in. Wasn't happening. Wasn't happening. It, it, it just, it. I, I got it on. I just didn't like the way the fittings were bumping up against the uh, heat plate, the um, heat sink. So I ended up calling my distributor in California. Nice guy, his name's Tony. And um, I told him what was going on. And he said that he's got a mini ITX that everybody really likes a lot, that he's heard a lot of good things about. And it turns out, over here what we have, he sent me was the Gigabyte X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. Okay. I was going to do an unboxing, but... I had so much stuff to do. I had a whole video laid out with the other thing, the build. Oh my God, it's, it's, I had a meltdown. I had a freaking meltdown. So, he got me this in two days. I, I was amazed. Sent it over to me. He was like, dude, you're going to love this board. And I do. It seems to have a more solid aluminum heat sink on it. Um... All of the RAM slots are full metal support. They have full metal support. The PCI Express on it, full metal support. I probably will end up putting a video card in it down the road. But right now, what I did was I um, took this board. I put it on my wet bench. I flashed the BIOS. And I ran some of the uh, games in 1080, and um, geez, I was getting Battlefield. I was getting close to 80 in medium high settings, it, no problem. So I don't think I'll have a problem streaming what I want to stream. But to get a card, it's just worth it. Plus, I get them. I'll have one. I'll just, I'll just figure. I'll do that lateral hang that I spoke about a while ago, and. Um, that vertical hanger, rather, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, what we have is, he also sent me a nice little one terabyte PNY M.2. It's a 3X 4.0. It's not all 4.0, but you're really not getting that anyways, um, technically, not yet. The um, heat sink where the VRAM goes has a little fan on it. It works nice. It's quiet, very quiet. I thought I was going to get a hum out of it. You literally got to really listen close to it. Okay, I end up installing the G chip. Okay, now this versus the ASRock. This is 8 and 2 with a higher, um, a higher count. As far as I think the volts goes or the amps, yeah, versus the ASRock. ASRock's a 6 and 2, 8 and 2. It's better there. It's got 8 layers on the PCB 
and Thule as a Kappa. Can't compare it. Um, it has four satas. It has two system fan headers, which you can turn into 20 with a hub or some extensions. Um, yeah. Um, the front I.O. I like, which I probably won't be using it much, but uh, it's all color-coded. It's very easy to find your stuff versus the ASRock. Um, the ASRock is an AMD board, but the mounting system on it was made to save on room because uh, they made such a big aluminum I.O. on it, it they, they had to do something. So to eliminate the typical setup that these boards normally come with, they ended up drilling the holes in the board, or I wouldn't say drill, they made the holes in the board so you would have to mount an AMD chip. You, you could mount an AMD chip, but you would have to use the bracket for an 1151 uh, Intel. It's a lot bigger. With this, you just use what comes with it. You'll get to see all this later. I'm just going to try to keep this short. So I ended up putting the CPU on, I flashed the BIOS, I ran a check on it, and it ran beautiful. In the rear, we have your Ethernet port, I think it's one gig. There is a USB 1, I'm sorry, USB 3.1. You have a um, Type-C, USB-C, you have a uh, BIOS flash, you have another 3.0, another 3.0, another one. So you got three 3.0s. You have two HDMIs and a display. I ran the HDMI and I ran it with display cables and I had no problems with either one of them. I did see a little bit of a difference with the uh, HDMI. But nothing to really worry about. Okay. So... What you do is you take these two screws out, you take this top off right here, this fan. You put your, you don't have to, but I ended up putting the um, M.2 where it goes underneath it. I put a nice thermal pad on there, put it back on. I could feel good contact, tightened it down. So this fan is not just cooling the VRAM back there, but it's also cooling the M.2. And those M.2s get really hot. Hot. Okay. We have your 24 pin. An 8 pin. Once again, you have two system fan. Well, actually, this one is for the, um, the pump. The other one is a system fan. You have one 12-volt RGB. There's no, there is no ARGB on this board. Heads up if anybody ends up getting it. But, seeing that this is going in back of the case and it's going to be behind a solid cover, unless it gets too hot, then I'll run it open like I do everything else. Um, I don't care. I really don't care. It's not going to be something I look at. Yeah, you have your one right there, 12 volt RGB. I was very surprised there wasn't one ARGB, but again, these boards are really small, so they do everything they can do. All right, so I pretty much covered most of the stuff on there. I'm not big, big technical like, you know, Steve at Game of Nexus and stuff. The guy's like, he's a monster when it comes to knowing all this stuff. But very happy with it it's going to mount fine there's plenty of room it's it's going to go right on i'm going to be putting it the the radiator's coming in today i've got this low profile alpha cool setup going together and um well it's already together but i'm going to have to take it apart and i got to change um nope bracket's fine i just got to uh mount it up these are going to come off. 
this back plate is going to be used for the four screws on the, uh, the mountain bracket. Okay. The 57G very, very, very much impressed me. The only game that I ran that I found that I had a problem with was Quake Champions. It does not like Quake Champions. I ran games that needed, like, Battlefield Five. I ran that in 1080p at, I think it was about 60, what did I get? 1080p at around, I was getting just about 60 frames in medium settings. Not bad. I don't know what it is about the Quake Champions game, but it doesn't like it at all. Okay. He sent also along two sticks of G-Skill memory. It's got a pretty tight memory on it. It's 3600C16. I've been running 32 with an 18 memory. Um, I went in to the board already. I set the onboard graphics. You have to set it up to force with the gigabyte. It works along, and I can also leave it and mount a GPU, and it still runs. And I could run two monitors off of it. Three, actually. Um, one using, I could also use one using the onboard. I could use another one using a video card if I want to go that route. Okay, so memory's gorgeous. I love it. Looks great. It's at, the uh, voltage is uh, 1.35. You can see it came packaged, nice little package. The Ryzen 7 57G comes with a typical low profile Wraith fan. So, um, I mean, you can use it. I could. But with it being in back of the case, closed up the way it is, I mean, there's plenty of ventilation and openings in the, in the, in the rear panel. So I'm not worried about that. I'm going to have fans back there. But um, I've got so many water coolers. I mean, it's just I'm building another one today. So I like building them. They're fun. I have a blast with it. Okay, so listen. I could go on and on. I start talking sometimes. I go too long. So, um... I'm going to keep this video as short as possible so I can mount everything and add that in. You get to see how things go and hopefully um, by the end of tonight I will have the new radiator built, have all the fluids in it, run it. I, I've got to run it first and, and flush it. You, you always flush these things. You don't want a little piece of crud getting hung up in there so you run it for a couple hours. Um, so I'm going to run it, get that installed, and then we will take a look at how it runs. We'll do a couple benchmarks. I'll throw them up there. And there's a few people I know on Discord that have been asking. To, they, they're dying to see how this is going to turn out. So, yeah. All right, people. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like. Blow me a kiss. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, you know me, I got to add something on here. The back, I don't know if you noticed before. It has another slot in the rear for a second M.2. Nice. And it's got some nice, I guess you want to call it motherboard armor. It seems to be made of... I'm not quite sure if it is, sounds like metal. Sometimes they make it with aluminum. Okay, you can see the plate here. Nice little M.2 opening if you want to throw a second one in. Actually, I'm going to end up using, I've got another one terabyte SSD. I'm going to put that in. The reason being is I kind of don't like the idea of it being back there with all that heat. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, yes, I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to bring it up real quick. I had to bring it up real quick. Okay, so I'm over my meltdown anyways. Um, so, this is going to be a nice build. It's going to be a very, very nice build. I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be very happy with it. Um, it's going to come in handy 
because I just came into a lot more space that I can set up a whole different room. I'm trying to decide on actually two, two big rooms that I can set up to do one of them just for dedicated builds and stream. And the other one, I don't know. I'm just maybe storage, but all right. Just wanted to throw that in. Throw it in. Um, so we'll get this video all set. Excuse me. Burp. No, I didn't burp. Um, yeah, we'll get this all set. I'm going to get this edited, get it uploaded along with the other part. So if, if you're watching now, it's going to be a, it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. Stick around. There's going to be some good stuff in it. And once again, please remember to give me a like. It really helps the channel. Gives me motivation to go on. Okay, people. I've seen a few. Again. Okay, folks. We are back. All right, now I'm going to mount this board in here. I've um, been working so hard to try to figure out, like, the best possible way where to put my cameras and stuff. And I got, oh my goodness, this is such a trial and everything. But, is what it is. Is is what it is. Is what it is. I got a thing now I can zoom in, zoom out, do all kinds of cool, crazy, funky stuff. So what we're going to do is do a little zooming in here on where the board's going to go. Voila. Well, I got to take this, gets it out of the way. Yeah, easier said than done, eh? Okay, it ain't out of the way, but no matter. Because we're going to mount this in here, in here, nice and easy. Fits like a glove. Fit like a glove. Don't fall on me. Don't fall on me now. Don't fall on me. I ain't gonna use this driver. I use the other driver. Cause I'm a driver. I'm driving me crazy. I'm driving you crazy. So we got to get this like right in, lined up nice. Sometimes these back plates just don't want to fall in the way you want them to fall in. Okay, first things first, let's get one screw. Screw it. Get one screw in there. Mango. Looks pretty good back there. Looks like it could come up a tadpole. Tadpole, yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Let me get these thingies. Okay. The screws for that. So what we're going to do is just give it a little oomph. Lines right up like fits like a glove. All right. Do the rest. This hole that they cut in the back of the case, it's got a little bit to be desired. Even with the other board, it's still, huh. I mean, it, it looks good. It's, it's just could be designed to, um, to just like hook in there better. I have seen better. I have seen worse. 
Like I said, don't never if you, if you want to spend cheap money, buy that. That fractal meshified, uh, not the big one. That one's really nice. The the smaller one, the, the cheapest one. Oh my god, that thing is like it's like aluminum foil. Drove me nuts that thing. Next task at hand, mount a pay yo. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to run away. No, um, we're gonna get the CPU mounted. Okay, so what I'm gonna use for thermal paste on this, because again, it's closed up back there, running back to back with another board. So, you know, I got some thermal grizzly. Oh. Um, supposedly from what I read, it's really, really good. It's a ceramic non-metallic paste, so. We're going to give it, oh my goodness, I, what the heck did I do? I freaking used it with something. I wasn't even paying attention. I got so many tubes. Better be some left in there. All right. Oh, yeah. So, some people say, try to spread it around. I don't know. I'm going to try to spread it this time. I normally don't. I just blop it on because whenever I pull the CPU off, it's always spread. But we'll try it Roby Tech way. He likes to spread it. Roby. I was on a site the other night. He does some nice builds, that guy. Very nice builds. Never know. I used to do auto body once upon a time when I was younger. When I was a young buck, those were the days, man. After I got out of the military, those were the days. This probably would have been easier. Actually, this ain't that hard. Seems to be plenty on there. Plenty enough. Heck yeah. I'm never shy when it comes to thermal paste. Some people, they got to be like, oh, don't put the box. I don't know. I think it could use a little bit more. I don't know if I can squeeze any more out of this. I should have bought a bigger tube. I think I got another. Yes, I did have some more ass. Okay, that should be enough, man. I'm not gonna, I mean, hey, I, I normally, like I said, I never spread this stuff. It's actually kind of a different color. Strange. It's like paint, every batch comes out different. As you can tell, you wouldn't want me doing auto body now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Ooh, this stuff is a pain in the ass to get off your hands. Now you can see, 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 see what I was talking about? These elbows right here? Well, on that ASRock board, boom, they were hitting hard. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I was not happy. Look at this. Perfect line up. Oops, I pulled it out of the hole. Whoa. Oh, 
Don't mind my hand in the way for a sec, peep. Peeps. Peeps. Don't mind my hand in the way for a second. Because corner to corner. You know they actually make a little torque thing for this. <laughs> but with these type of screws you just you just go down till it stops. I I I don't know. I, I gotta call the Alpha cool up and talk to them and see if I can get them to sponsor me because this is all I use. Myself, I found hands down they make some of the best coolers. Barrows, they make some heavy duty stuff, but I I still like Alpha Cool the best. They my peeps. Yeah, this takes a while. Am I shaking too much? Am I shaking it too much? Wow, there's a lot of tightening. You know, I'm surprised they didn't put in a little covers with this this time. They usually give you little covers that go over these screws. Ah, boy, I got a lot of stuff to do. We'll be back when this is done. Okay, it's all screwed down, just with the dark dotted. Yeah, these, this screws right down tight. Oops. John stopped shaking everything. You know, bad idea attaching my my camera to my desk. I've got to mount it to a wall. Yeah. i got to get a bracket for that. You guys don't care. There's a little wobble in my wiggle. See these screws right here? They normally come with like a little cover. But it's all right. Nice. Next would be the memory. Okay, what I'm going to do is hook up the the fan, the fan, the fan bar, bass, bass, the fan bar over here on this one. It is right next to yo. It's right next to the eight pin. Let's get all this out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna have to redo this because it's obviously differential than the um, way I had the ASRock mounted. I'm actually really glad I ended up getting this. Should I go around? I go around. I've got a cable manage all this anyways. But yeah, going around much better. Much, mucho better. And that goes la. Get in there, you little guampy. You my little guampy is. My mother used to make those, God rest her soul. Guampies. And cabbage wrapped in like beef, uh, ground beef. Oh. <laughs> Yes, you can drive a bus for eight city blocks on one of them guampies. Food. I grew up in a Portuguese family, and Portuguese food, a lot of it's old. It's, it's not the same as Spanish. It's, it, there is similar things, but some of it is definitely... It kind of looks the same almost, but it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? You same? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't want to get out of the way. I want to get this eight pin out of the way, yo. And I went and put it on here so it wouldn't fall around all over the place. Okay. CPU fan. Wow, wow, baby. 
get in there. Oh yeah, clicked right in. Fit like a glove. Next step, memory. Okay, longer goes down the bottom. Would that be in the way? No. Longer goes down the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Is that in? Yeah, that's in. Nice double click a whack of that. Whack, whack! I like them clicks. It's music to my ears. Nice. Not, oh man, this board gives nice clicks. Okay. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. Don't look back. All right. So what else we got going? You know something? All you'd have to do is a little extension. Pull this off. Put a little adapter. Boom, boom. I could run that little low profile. The smallest cut. The biggest cut I could find. Not in size. If I want to put it in these rear these rear mounts is like into the board like normal is a 1650 um i think they got a 1660 ti i'm not sure what i how, how i know it would probably push the frame rates a little bit better than the than the um the the, the, the the radion this is this is this is a this really burns my ass um excuse my french but AMD made an announcement yesterday that they are going to be upgrading the 5700 series. Uh, it might even be, it definitely will be in the next chip to their newer RDNA 2. So you're going to have Navi 21 built into the CPU. Right now, I am, I'm getting, you know, Vega. It, it's, it's, it'll probably be double three times faster. Okay, so it's looking good. Memory's in. Yo! Memory's in. Yeah. Last thing to do. Swing this around here. Well, it's not the last thing to do. Boom! Sweet. You guys are surprised I could think about this. I come up with this idea. But, yes, I did. Um, I hope some more people go along with this. This this would be great. It's really um good stuff for for streamers, you know. So, all right, time for lunch. See what I can. What else I can think of the video to get you people aggravated. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, again, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, even better. Let's zoom you in a little bit. Oh, there she goes. You can see the whole mounting system. Take a look at that shit. That PSU. You guys want to see a crazy fan that I'm going to be using? I'm not a big RGB fanatic, but seeing it's an all open glass case, I figured I'd grab a an Asia Haas 360 millimeter fan and it's all all RGB all it's things gonna be nuts it's it's a nice um it's I tell you it's solid it's a very solid build I usually go with I usually like the, the, the cooler master but I figured what the heck I'll give it a shot if I don't like it I'll tear the thing out throw it in another build I did a little bit of cable managing so we got them you know I really can run this back through and put it to my the ARGB's already all redone everything's all wired in for all the fans basically I don't use a startup on this there's, there's not a startup switch I start the front board 
and it's jumped. This is set up to be jumped to board two, which it's set on now. Um, I've got to do a little more reading to see if there's a way to deactivate that and turn it on only when you want to use that back board. Um, as I see it right now, unless there's one switch for... I didn't quite see it from what I read in the directions. This case just has one power switch and a restart switch. One of them is a, a, an ARGB switch, and the other one turns the ARGB on and off. There's a front um, C, a USB-C, and two 3.0 um, USBs. So, hey, go figure. All right. We'll be back. Peace. Okay, people. And his proof. It's running. I think it came out pretty good. Now I gotta do is tackle that front main board. This was the most important thing is getting this up running right now. What do we got for camps? Mm, nice. 102, 39, it should be between 40 with a fan and what they say, 55. So I'm running cool, cool, cool. Let me see, that's the memory. Where's the processor? Oh wow, processor's running chill. Temperature is 37, 36, 57. That's the that's the edge. That, that, that's no big deal. Um, edge always runs. The edge of the they call it edge always runs warmer. What else? What else? Twenty one percent usage. All right. There's a top radiator. That's the radiator cooling this back piece. And the back radiator is going to cool the front. Um, I'm bass backwards. Okay, folks, don't forget me a like, give me a thumbs up. Have a good one.